Okay guys, this is the last session of this ebook. And if you like, hit the like button on Pavitra Studio, also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Before we jump into creating the rocket, you need to know about viewport shading. You can see it here. This viewport shading can change our object display in our 3D view. There are bonding box, wireframe, solid, texture, material, and render. The most often used in modeling process are wireframe and solid shading. You can press Z to toggle between them. If we are in edit mode and want to select some vertices, in solid shading, our selection will be limited to our display. So we can't select the backside vertices. But if we using wireframe shading, we can select them. In fact, there is an alternative to select backside vertices while in solid shading. We can activate limit selection to visible that we can find here. Well, now we will start to make a rocket in Blender. Here, I use different layout from default Blender layout. You can download it in the link below this video. Basically, I just move the outliner to the left side. Okay, attention, this will be massive repetition. By using UV image editor, we can choose our reference image. So you can download the image in the link below the video, okay? First, we create a cube. Press Shift A, choose mass and cube. Press period button on numpad to view the cube. Press tab to go to edit mode. Press Ctrl R to create a loop cut. Choose vertex on screen left side. Press X and choose vertices to delete. Go to modifier and choose mirror. Press Ctrl tab and choose face. Press A then G, Z to move it up. Right click on front face. Press G, Y to move the face. Press E to extrude, Ctrl tab choose edge and press G, Z to move edge down. Ctrl tab choose face, move it on X axis. Ctrl tab choose edge and move it again. Ctrl R and choose edge on top, move it up. Press 7 for top view and 5 to make sure it's on orthographic view, okay? Press Z for wireframe shading, Ctrl tab then choose vertex, press B, choose vertex on the side and move it. Choose vertex on the front and also move it. Again, Ctrl R and move the loop cut, Ctrl tab choose face, extrude the face, Ctrl tab choose edge, move the edge, shift right click to select some of the edges and move. Ctrl R to make loop cut, click and move, Ctrl tab face. Move the face down, Ctrl tab edge, choose top edge and move it down. Then choose this edge to move it up and choose edge on the side and move it down. Press A to select all, then press SY to scale on Y axis, Ctrl tab choose face, select face on the back and press E to extrude. And you can press shift spacebar to maximize the editor. Ctrl tab choose vertex, move vertex on the front, move it down. Ctrl R to make a loop cut on the middle of the body. And here we can go to modifier and turn off eye icon on mirror modifier so we can check face on the middle because this need to be deleted. For subdivision surface, right now please ignore it. Press X choose face to delete face on the middle. Activate eye icon on mirror modifier again and choose face on the back, move it. Press I to insert face, move our mouse to set thickness value, press F6, choose individual in order to make face inserts as individual, press E to extrude it again. Choose this top face, press I, choose it, then change transform orientation to normal, move on X axis, Choose face mode, change orientation back to global and press E to extrude, then move it on X axis. Ctrl tab choose 8, press G 2 times to slide the 8. So pressing G 2 times is used to slide the 8, okay? Change orientation back to global and move it on Y axis. Ctrl tab choose vertex, 
press 7, activate snap option and choose vertex. Then move it on Y axis and grab it to the nearer vertex. After that, turn off snap and set it back to increment. Press B and select vertex on top. Press G and move it up. Press B again and move it on Y axis. Choose vertex on the front. Press W and choose smooth. Choose vertex on the middle. Press G two times to slide the vertex. Choose vertex again and press G two times to slide the vertex. Press tab to go to edit mode, choose shading smooth. Now we will create our next object. Shift A, choose cylinder, press F6, change cap fill type to nothing, and vertices to 8. Press tab to go to edit mode, press R, X, 90. Press tab to go to object mode, G, Z, move it down, tap again to go to edit mode, S, Y to scale on Y axis, S to scale the mesh, S, Y again, and G to move it down. Place it under the plane. Okay. Press Alt right click to choose vertex on one loop, E and Y to extrude on Y axis, then S and scale down the front vertices. Ctrl R and scroll till we see three segment loop cut. Scale it on Z axis. Alt right click again on this vertex loop then scale it. Do it for others too. Tap again to go to object mode and choose settings mode. And tap again to go to edit mode. Press 7 for top view. Alt right click on this vertex loop, scale it. Check from side view by pressing 3. Alt right click and scale it on Z axis. Choose vertex loop on the front by using alt right click and press F to close the hole. Then press I to insert face. Tap to go to object mode. If there is other object like camera, press H to hide it. Press 7 for top view. Tap again to go to edit mode. Press A to select all vertices. And shift D, X to move as well as duplicate the object. S to scale. Press B to select front vertices move on y axis border select vertex on the side of cylinder press x choose vertices to delete the vertices give it mirror modifier press n to open properties panel turn off grid floor x and y press tab to go to edit mode alt right click on this vertex loop e to extrude on y axis s to scale e again but right click after that then S to scale it, E and Y to extrude on Y axis, then extrude it inside. Still in edit mode, press 7 to go to top view, and Z to go to wireframe viewport. B to border selection, and choose vertex on the back, G, Y to move on Y axis, press Z for solid viewport shading, and as you know, we are just repeating some commands. Choose vertex, press E, then right click, and S to scale it. Activate clipping on mirror modifier in order to make middle vertices attach when we move it on X axis. Press E and Y to extrude on Y axis, S to scale, and do it several times till you get the shape you want. Then press F to close the hole, press I to insert face, and move on Y axis. Press tab. To go to object mode. Select these two objects by right click and shift to add selection. Press G, Z to move it up. After this, we will give a simple material to our rocket. We can choose this object first, then go to material properties and click new to give it material. Choose rocket object and new material too. Hit plus to add material. Click two times on material name and rename the first material to brown, the second to white. Choose this object and give material name as rocket for instance. Click on diffuse color and change color to brown and drag its color to viewport color. Go to edit mode, hover our mouse to small slim rocket object. Press L to select single component. Choose white material and press assign. Choose brown material and change viewport color by clicking on picking tools and click on rocket object on the image. 
Adjust the color if you want. Drag and drop the color to diffuse color. Now choose this object. Tap to go to edit mode. Ctrl tap H and S Z to scale it on Z axis. Then G Z to move the edge loop a bit down. Ctrl tap face. Alt right click on vertical edge near the face to select face loop. Give it new material by pressing plus button and new. Rename it as black and click assign. Change viewport color to black, then drag viewport color to diffuse color. Change front face and assign black material to that face. After this, you can still make some modification if you want. Control tap face and choose face on the back wing, then assign black material. Here there is two face that overlapping. I would delete it, choose face X and delete face. Then control tap vertex, choose three vertexes on the side and press F to close the face. Then I select those three faces and assign rocket material. You are free to make some adjustment to the object actually. I choose face inside, then press Ctrl plus to grow face selection and again assign black material. Press tab to go to object mode. Press 3 for right view and R 90 to rotate on X axis by 90 degrees. From now, I would rather let you modify by yourself, okay? So you can familiar with the tool set. So try it. Okay, wow, finally you can finish this ebook and you start growing your blender skill. Remember, you just started, okay? And before I end this video, if you like, remember to hit like on Pavitra's Facebook, subscribe on our YouTube channel, and also check Pavitra's product on Blender Market. Okay, I'm Bintang Senja, see you again in other videos.